Welcome guys, welcome everyone. So today the plan is to do some work so that we get strong lower backs, strong backs, and we counter all of the rounding down of the lockdown. Hello everyone. We're giving it a second for everyone to, to connect. So this will not be complicated exercises. They will be quite fundamental, quite simple. And the idea that they're accessible to everyone, there will be different levels, and you can even suggest them to your parents, to your friends, your flatmates, because I understand that nowadays that we're locked in, not a lot of movement, it's easy to compromise our posture, it's easy to round up and to collapse in our lower back. So if you feel any lower back pain, you're not alone, we're going to tackle it here today. So you'll just need your mat or a comfortable floor. We'll be doing a lot of floor exercises. But first of all, we'll start with a comfortable seat, just to begin with some simple breathing exercises. You want to find a stable seat. So feel your six bones on the ground. If you need to, you can sit on top of a cushion, you can sit on a chair. Open up your chest by pulling your shoulders back and pulling your shoulder blades down and reach the back of your skull up towards the sky. Remember what we were saying the other time about this muscle that connects the collarbones with the back of the skull. You want to really lengthen that muscle. So if you tend to bring your head forward like I used to do, or if you, for any reason, feel comfortable here, then in these actions, you're compressing that muscle. Both actions are compressing that muscle. You want to really reach up through the back of your head to lengthen that muscle and remind yourself to keep that integrity in our postures today. Bring your hands to your lower belly and notice how you're normally breathing. What you usually do is paradoxical breathing, where the belly is not moving much and it's just the chest that's moving. Let's change that because that's a very uh, shallow breath that activates your sympathetic nervous system. So if you want to calm down, you want to breathe down into your belly. So relax the chest and inhale all the way down. Exhale, cool everything back in. Keep sending your six bones down, reaching up through the back of the skull and inhale into your belly. Exhale, cool the belly back in. Relax the muscles of the face. Inhale into your belly. And exhale the belly in. Okay. Deep core actions. So inhale into your belly and bring your awareness to your pelvic floor. Exhale. Inhale. Notice how the pelvis and all the muscles there relax with the inhale. And exhale, notice how the pelvic floor engages, how the thin layers of muscles at the pelvis pick up as you exhale. Again, inhale into the belly, relax the pelvic floor. And exhale, feel that lift from the pelvic floor as you pull the lower belly in and up. Try to hold those engagements as you inhale. So inhale deeply, holding the pelvic floor engaged, and the lower belly kicking up. And exhale, stay with that integrity of your seat. Keep the chest relaxed, inhale deeply, but keep pulling up through the pelvic floor, the lower belly, and exhale completely, keep those engagements. Okay, we, we want to keep those engagements as we inhale the arms up. So reach your arms up as you're picking up the pelvic floor, stacking the lower belly in, and exhale, bring your arms down. Keep lifting the pelvic floor, stack the lower belly in. Inhale, bring the arms up. Keep the deep core muscles engaged. The exercises have started. 
and exhale, arms by your sides. Keep your awareness at your deep core muscles. Relax your face, your jaw, and inhale your arms up. Really reach up, stretch up. Exhale, we'll twist to the right. So keep your belly in. Pick up the lower belly. Pick up the chest. Stay here. Exhale, send your right hip forward as you twist towards the right. So feel like you're twisting through the upper back. Next, exhale, pull the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down and reach up through the back of the scalp. Inhale in a straight line from the pelvic floor all the way up, keeping the lower belly in. And exhale, twist a bit more if it's accessible. Keep reaching up through the back of the scalp. Pull the belly in. Inhale, come back to center very slowly with control. And we'll go to the other side. Exhale, twist to the left. Remember that you want the left hip to move forward in space and the left shoulder to move back in space, twisting through the body. So inhale and reach higher up through the back of the scalp. Think of your whole spine as one straight line, reaching it up and then exhale, rotate it within that vertical axis, turn your head even. Stay here and inhale deeply all the way up, chest open, and exhale. Use your fingertips to help you to push the right chest forward and pull the left shoulder back. Pull the belly in and inhale, come back to center, keeping the lower belly sucking, reaching up through the rib kick. And exhale, right arm to the right, left arm overhead. So keep your lower belly sucked in and reach away through the left arm. Pull the shoulders back. Plug the right shoulder blade down the back and reach out way through the fingertips. Press the six bones down and inhale through the left side, left ribs, left chest, left armpit. Exhale, reach away through the fingertips. Really straighten the arm and really ground the left six bone down. One more deep breath here. Inhale into the whole left side, left intercostal muscles, left chest, left side of the neck, left side of the hand. And exhale, reach away through the hands, reach away through the fingernails even. Keep the right shoulder blade tucked down. Pull the belly in, stay here. Just bring the left arm over to the left, just in a straight line. Pull the left shoulder back and plug the left trap muscle down. So we engage this guy here, pulling it down. Relax the head, reach away through the hand. Inhale into your left neck. And exhale, reach further away through the left hand, further down through the left sit bone. Inhale into the left neck, the left cheek, the left temple. And exhale, pull through the fingertips, relax one more layer of the neck. One more deep here, breath here. Exhale through the mouth, release. Keep pulling away through the hand. Now allow the hand to pull you to the left. You can use the right hand to pick the head up slowly. Sit up tall and breathe. Breathe into the belly. Allow your belly to expand. The front of the belly to push forward. The sides of the belly to expand sideways. The back of the belly to push back. Exhale through the mouth. Relax the muscles of the face. Relax the shoulder blades down the back. Take a breath in stillness. And exhale, ground your sit bones down, reach up through the back of the scalp, find integrity in your whole body. Inhale, pick up both arms up, reach up, gaze up, elongate. And exhale, bring the left hand down, right arm overhead. Plug the left shoulder back, the left shoulder blade down, relax the head and reach away through the right arm. Straight arm, straight elbow, straight wrist, fingers together. Relax the head and inhale through the whole right side. Exhale, push down through the right hip. Reach out way through the fingertips. Relax the face. Inhale deeply into the right side of the body, the right belly, right abdomen, right rib cage. And exhale, pull away through the fingertips. Relax the head, relax. One more deep inhale here. 
Lengthen through the whole right side and allow the breath to penetrate every intercostal muscle. So go all the way up to the armpit and exhale here, reach away. Bring the arm up and over. Relax the head, pluck the shoulders back, pluck the right shoulder blade down the back, right strap down. Relax the head again and allow the hand to pull away as you rest the head down. Inhale into the right trap, the right neck, the right side of the face. And exhale, push the right sit bone down. Relax the head to the left. Plug the left shoulder blade down and pull away through the fingertips of the right hand. Inhale deeply into the right neck. And exhale, pull the right fingernails away. Relax one more layer of the neck. One more deep breath here. And relax the head, relax the brain. Allow the hand to pull you to the right and use your left hand to pick the head up carefully. Sit tall, relax the arms, inhale into the belly and exhale through the mouth. Pick up through the back of the scalp. Push your shoulders back, allow the chest to pop open. Pull the shoulder blades down and pick up your pelvis. Pick up your lower belly. Pick up your chest, your scalp. Relax the face. We're going to do some back work now. So come to all fours. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. From here, we'll start accessing our pelvis. So start with anterior and posterior pelvic tilts, turning your tailbone up and then tucking your tailbone under. So pull the lower belly in and forward the whole time as you try to segment the action just at the pelvis. So just the pelvis, turning in and curling up, sticking your butt up. Keep your lower belly engaged and pulling forward the whole time and keep pushing the pubis back the whole time. So find that distance between the pubis and the belly button. We'll add to the movement. So next time you exhale and you round down through the lower back, suck the lower belly in, push into the hands and round up through the upper back in the chin. Stay here and then start segmenting the movement again, uncurling the tailbone, pulling the lower belly in, finding an arch in the lower back, then the upper back, pulling the shoulder blades down, pushing down into the hands and picking up the chin, lengthening the neck. Pull the lower belly in and exhale round the back, starting from the lower back, pushing into the hands. And then inhale and arch. Again, find the movement from the bottom of the spine all the way up to the back of the skull. And exhale, push into the hands, push into the knees, and round, starting the, with the lower back and pushing away. When you find your next round back position, stay there. And what you want is to push forward with the hands and back with the knees. So really exaggerate the rounded back, pushing back through the knees and pushing forward through the hands. Widen the shoulder blades, so allow the arms to rotate externally. Push forward through the hands, suck the lower belly in, suck the ribs in, reach them forward and push forward through the hands, feel the chest working. Press down into the feet, pull back through the knees, Feel the glutes working to stabilize the movement. Pull the belly in and then inhale and curl the tailbone. Again, go slow. Round the lower back, the middle back. Arch the lower back, the middle back, the upper back. Pick up the chin. And then when you find your arch position, stay there. Now from here, we want to pull back through the hands and push forward through the knees. So push down into the hands and pull back with the hands. So feel like you're pushing your hands back in space in order to uh, push the chest forward. 
Keep the shoulders pulling back. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. And see if you can push the shoulder blades together to really cock the chest forward. Pick up the chin. Keep pulling back through the hand and keep pushing forward through the knees. By pushing forward through the knees, you're really accentuating that lower back curve. So really pull the lower belly in and forward to protect your lower back. So the more you pull back through the hands and push forward through the knees, the more you can find this arch, but keep the lower belly engaged. Keep the rib cage in and forward. Good, and then from here, exhale, curl the tailbone under, pull the lower belly in. One exhale to push away through the hands, back through the knees, and then inhale, and curl the tailbone, push forward to the knees, pull back through the hands, and arch the whole back, pick up the chin last. Exhale, again, round the back, starting with the lower back, then finding middle back, then upper back, pushing forward through the hands, bringing the chin in, pulling back through the knees, and then inhale, push forward through the knees, pull back through the hands, and exaggerate that arch. Good. Come back to neutral with your next exhale, pull the belly in, and come to sit back to your child's pose. Knees together, so bring your knees together and your heels together if possible. You can send the pubis back all the way, pull the belly in and forward all the way to really lengthen your body on top of the thighs. Rest your head on the ground. If it's more comfortable, you can uh, bring, stack the shins, on, uh, sorry, the forearms on top of one another and place the forehead on top of everything. This is a great position to lengthen the lower back. So keep thinking of the pubis moving back and the lower belly being sucked in and pulling forward. We'll do our Kapalabhati breath here. So Kapalabhati is the skull shining breath. So from this position, it's a bit tricky because you really need to pull the belly in and reach forward through the belly in order to have access to any sort of breath um, exercise. So keeping the forehead relaxed. If it's too much, you can bring your hands down and pick up the, the belly a bit. So pressing down into the forearms to pick up the belly. Otherwise, resting down, you want to exhale forcefully through the mouth and then allow the inhale to happen on its own accord. So it looks like this. So join me when you're ready, exhaling forcefully through the mouth. Keep pulling the belly forward. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, five, four, three, two, and exhale out. Exhale all the breath out. Hold the breath out for a second, pulling the belly in and forward, sending the six bones back. Relax the belly, inhale deeply through the nose. Push the belly down with your inhale. And exhale through the mouth, let it go. We'll do one more round. So if this was too hard, you can come to a kneeling position and do the next round from a kneeling position. Otherwise, we'll repeat with the belly on the ground, on the knees, on the thighs, and the forehead on the forearms or easier option with the hands and elbows supporting or just the hands supporting or easiest of all come up and do the breathing exercise here. You can repeat doing the exercise with the belly or you can do uh, the exercise through the nose this time. It's the same idea of exhaling forcefully. You need to go at a different pace, go at a different pace. If it feels like too much, Come back to a normal breath and join us again when you're ready. Inhale deeply into the belly. 
Exhale completely. Pull the belly forward and remind yourself to keep the belly reaching forward as you're pushing the pubis back. Inhale, half the breath and begin through the nose or through the mouth. Thirty, twenty-nine, twenty-eight. Keep going. Keep pumping the belly. Lengthen the lower back. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Pull the belly in every time you exhale forcefully. Three, two, and exhale all the breath out. All the breath out, create a vacuum, pull the belly in and forward, send the sit bones back. And when you're ready to inhale, first relax the belly and then inhale into the belly, push the belly down, expand the sides of the belly outwards, send the back of the belly up. Open the mouth and exhale out. Good job. Come to hands and knees again. And we're going for another back, lower back strengthening exercise. So press, press down into the hands, push down into the knees. You want to push strongly and send the hips back as you reach forward to the back of the scalp. We're, we're doing different levels. So we're starting just with the hands. Press the left hand down and inhale, putting the right arm up. Exhale, bring the hand down. Notice if the hips move, if the hips move, Try not to move them. Press the knees down, keep the hips strong, pull the belly in and forward. Next inhale, left arm up. And exhale, arm down. Good. We'll repeat and this time we'll try to go further up with the arm. So keep the belly in and inhale the right arm up and push up. Open up the right shoulder and exhale the hand down. Palms always facing down, so keep the arm in the same line. Inhale the left arm up. Reach forward and maybe push up, open up the shoulder and exhale the hand up. Keep the belly engaged, keep the hips up. Legs, press the hands down, push strongly, pull the shoulder blades down, so round the back slightly. Press the left knee down, push the hands down and inhale the right leg up, point the foot, reach back and exhale the knee down. Pull the belly in the whole time, inhale the left leg up, straighten the leg, point the foot, and exhale the knee down. So keeping the belly in, we'll do it again. Right leg back and up. This time straighten and see if you can go further up, keeping the belly engaged. Slide anterior pelvic tilt. And exhale, knee down. Slide posterior pelvic tilt, pubis forward. Pull the belly in, inhale the left leg up. Stay conscious of all the movements. Leg up and exhale, knee down. Keep the belly strong, push into the hands. Good, option to alternate arms and legs. So right arm and left leg, and then opposite. Or to go one more time, right arm, left arm, right knee, left knee. So inhale, right arm up, maybe left leg up. Maybe reach higher up. Stay here. And exhale, reach higher up. Maybe gaze beyond the right armpits. Stay with the belly engaged. Inhale here, reach further forward and up to the arms. Up and forward to the chin and exhale, bring everything down, arm down and maybe knee if the leg was up. Inhale the left arm up, the right leg back and up, reach higher up through the arm, through the leg if it's up and stay here, push into the hand, exhale, gaze under the left arm, and keep the belly in. Stay here, inhale the arm and the leg higher up, bring the gaze forward and exhale, come down with the arm and with the knee if you lift the, the leg. One more time, each side, if you just the arms, just do legs. Otherwise, right arm and left leg, pull the belly, point the back foot, reach up through the arm, gaze under the armpit if the arm is up, and exhale, come down, keeping the belly engaged. And last side, inhale the left arm up, the right leg up, pull the belly in, all up, gaze under the armpit, keep the belly in, and exhale, arm and knee down. Good job. Come all the way down to sphinx position. So lie down on your belly. Pull the uh, pubis back. So send your pubis back. 
pull the belly in and reach it forward. So find again that distance between your pubic bone and the front of the pelvis and your belly button. Lengthen the lower belly. Elbows under the shoulders for sphinx pose. If this is already a lot, then bring your elbows further to the front to make it easier. Otherwise, elbows under the shoulders. Feet are slightly apart, so in between uh, together and hip distance. So they're not together, but they're a bit closer together than the, than the width of your hips. Pull the belly in and lift it forward. Pick up the chest, the chin. And then from here, press inner hands and outer elbows down. I repeat, press inner hands, so the inner part of your hands, and outer elbows, the outer edge of your elbows, down. Pressing down through those parts of your forearms, you'll feel the chest working. So press down and push the chest forward. Keep an internal rotation of the arms to keep your arms neutral as they are. And then using that push with the inner hands and the outer elbows, pull the chest forward. So push your shoulders back. You'll feel the shoulder blades uniting. That's what you want. So shoulder blades together, pushing the shoulders back, pushing the chest forward. Chin forward and chin up. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Press the feet down to activate your legs. Feel your glutes working. So squeeze your glutes and feel that the uh, sides of the pelvis are pressing down. So your hip creases are pressing down onto the mat. That allows your sacrum to relax back. So press down into the hip creases, the, the hip joints. Press them down, pull the belly in, lift it forward. Another engagement that we want to be thinking in all of the back bends is what we call Ashwini Mudra. Ashwini Mudra is the squeezing of the anal sphincter. So you want to squeeze your butt hole. So press the hip creases down and squeeze your butt hole. Reach it forward. That protects your lower back. Pull the lower belly in, reach it forward. Pull the rib cage in, reach it forward and up. And keep pressing inner hand and outer elbows down. Push the shoulders back. Inhale, chest forward, chin up. And exhale. If you need a break, you can relax. If you're comfortable here, keep the engagements. If you're relaxing, just lie on your belly. Take a breath. Okay, next exercise. So if you want to go deeper, then with the arms further to the front or where they are, press inner hands down, press outer hands down, and straighten the arms into steel pose. Same exercises. So again, the further away the hands are, the easier, because you don't go uh, deep. The further to the back, the more intense the back foot. Keep pressing the feet down, pull the belly in, Press the hip creases down, release the sacrum, and lift forward through the pelvic floor. Pull the lower belly in and up. Use your shoulders to push the chest forward, so shoulders up. Pull the shoulder blades down. Inner shoulder blades kiss one another, and then push the inner shoulder blades forward. Push the lower inner shoulder blades forward. Pick up the chest, the chin, inhale, Stay here, exhale, press the feet down, activate the glutes, activate the anal sphincter. Inhale, chest further forward, chin further up, and exhale slowly. Reach forward through the chin, reach back through the feet. Just visualize it and lie down. Okay, once you're down, you can relax. But before you're down, you want to engage. When going into poses and coming out of poses, you want to stay active. You can feel again that you inhale into the belly, pushing down to the ground. And if you'd like, exhale through the mouth, relax the whole body. Next exercise, cobra twists. So for cobra, again, you have different options. You can stay with the hands further to the front, but you want to bring the feet together. So feet together is not an option, feet will be together. Press all 10 toes down, push down, 
feel the kneecaps lifting up. And then you can again use your arms to push the pubis back and pull the lower belly forward. So you can start with this sphinx position and then you lift the elbows, pull the shoulders back and this will be your cobra. If you want to go deeper, your hands are under the shoulders, elbows in, push down, keep the same engagements, press down into all 10 toes, sack the lower belly in, lift forward and up. You want the elbows to stay bent, cobra is with the elbows bent. So keep your elbows bent, keep the natural rotation of the arms and pull the shoulders back, pull the shoulder legs down, pick up the chin. From here, inhale here, and exhale, twist so that you just gaze, so with your head, turn to look at your left back cheek. Press the feet down, activate both back cheeks, keep looking at the left, pull the lower belly in, and up, inhale, pick up the chest, the cheek, and exhale, come forward, 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 and come down, and then turn your head down. We're going for the other side. You want to feel that engagement. As you turn around, it's a great way to strengthen the whole left side of the back and you'll feel the left, lower back strengthening. But it's important to keep the belly engaged so that you stay active and you keep the deep core um, securing your safety. Okay, so same cobra. Feet together, press down into the feet. Unless, of course, it was too much, then bring the hands further away. So same variation, choose your variation, press down, pick up, keep the elbows bent, and use your hands to pull the shoulders back, hold the chest forward, pick up the chin, pull the shoulder blades down, shoulder blades together, push them forward, keep pressing the feet down, active glutes, active butt hole, and then turn with the head to the right. Keep pulling back through the shoulders. Shoulder legs down, gaze at the right back cheek, inhale. And exhale, press the feet down, pull the belly, pick up the chest, inhale. And exhale here, keep engaging everything, inhale. Exhale very slowly, so we're moving forward, keep gazing the right, start moving forward, 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 and come down. Okay, and then relax. Only once you're down, you relax. Inhale into the belly. Exhale, relax. Inhale into the belly. And exhale, relax. Okay. Next exercise, Shalavasana. It's the same engagements, and you have the option of lifting the legs up. If you don't feel like lifting the legs up today, just focus on all the actions. It's the same actions. So feet together. Press the tops of the feet down. Activate the glutes. The kneecaps come off the ground. Pull the belly in and forward. Ribcage in and forward. Cheek forward. Inhale, pick up everything. You can press down with the hands and the feet, or you can lift the arms and the legs for five breaths. Keep the lower belly in and forward, the chest crowd. Four, four. Three, keep lifting up through the chest. If the legs are up, keep them straight and together. Four, two. And one, keep the engagements as you push forward through the chin and push back through the feet and come down. Press the hands down and come up to hands and knees. We're going for some um, thoracic rotations. So bring your right hand to the center so that the right hand is under your chest. Press down into the hand, press down into the knees. Bring your left hand behind your neck, press down into the hand, press down into the knees, pull the belly in and forward, and inhale, pick up the chin, the elbow, Exhale, stay here, pull the shoulder blades down. Inhale, press down into the right hand to push the right shoulder forward and pull the left elbow back. And exhale, come very slowly back to center. Again, inhale, come up. And now we'll come down right away. Exhale, come down. 
Keep pressing that hand down, pull the belly in. Inhale, come up, push the right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. Exhale, come down, two more. Keep the belly in. Inhale, maybe you don't come too far up, and exhale. So it's fine, wherever you are, keep pressing the hand down, the knees down, inhale, lift through the left side of the chest, and exhale, come back down. Okay, notice if your hips were moving again, you were again not engaging enough. So keep engaging and keep the glutes active, stay stable. It's just the chest that's moving and the everything above. So press the left hand down, hand at the center, pull the shoulder blades down the back. Relax the head first, then bring the head, the hand under the uh, neck, reach forward through the head, reach back to the hips, pull the belly in, hips over the knees and then stay stable. Inhale the right elbow up, push forward to the left shoulder, back through the right shoulder. Exhale, stay here, pull the shoulder blades down, pull the belly in and forward. Inhale, push and push the left shoulder forward, right arm back and exhale, come back down. Okay, four more. More dynamic, inhale, come up, push up, push all the legs down, exhale, come down, keep pressing down through the knees, inhale, come up, push all the legs down, press hand, push forward the left shoulder, exhale, come down, two more, inhale, keep the hips stable, open up the chest, exhale, and last one, inhale, come up, find your range of motion, stay for a millisecond, exhale, come down, good. Come to lie on your belly. Shalavasana. Legs straight, feet together. This time, we're going to bring our hands behind the head. So, hands behind the neck, interlace the fingers. Feet together, press the tops of the feet down, pull the belly in and forward. Press the thighs down and pick up the um, Ashwini, your inner sphincter. Reach it forward, activate your glutes. Reach forward through the head, through the elbows, and inhale. Chin forward, chin up, arms up. Choice of legs up. Exhale, pull the belly in, reach higher up through the chest. Four, five. Keep breathing, keep the body active. Four, four. Shoulder blades down the back, reach up through the elbows. Four, three. Reach the legs up if they're up. Otherwise, press them down. Four, two. Keep the legs straight, pointed. And one, exhale, come down. Very good. Come back to all fours. And come back to seated. We're doing every exercise. So bring your hands up uh, forward, up and up the palms. Pull your fingers back, but push your wrists forward. And then push your shoulders back. So find long arms, pushing forward through the wrists and back through the shoulders. Open up the fingers really wide and pull them back. Pull the fingertips back. Inhale here and exhale, bring the fingers together. Keep pushing the wrists forward. Inhale, open up the fingers and exhale, fingers together. And then go faster, but do the full movement. Opening up the fingers every time. The breaths are slow and deep, but the movement of the fingers is very quick. You shouldn't be able to see your fingers. That's how quick they're moving. Four, five. Go faster, you can still see your fingers. Four, four. Really open up the arms, the palms every time. Four, three. Keep your arms straight, keep your belly engaged. Sit up tall. Four, two. Keep going faster, 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 faster. Four, two. Faster, faster, and one, good job. Okay, relax. Trap your shoulders. Hug one wrist with the opposite thumb, opposite hand, thumb, and index finger, and form a gentle fist to roll the fist around. One way and then the other. One way and then the other. Good, opposite hand, form a gentle fist, hug it and roll it around, beginning to go slow, go slow, be mindful. Okay, bring your arms forward, form fists, turn the fists down and push forward through the wrists, and then pull back, and push forward, and pull back, and push forward, and pull back, 
and forward, keep the belly in, back, two more, and one more. Good job. Find your fist down, push forward through the wrists. Remember this arm position, this is what you want. Okay, so this is the arm position that you want. So with this arm position, pushing forward through the wrist and pulling back through the fists, you'll come down to your locust pose. Lie on your belly, send your feet back, feet together, point the feet, press down into all ten toes, suck the lower belly in, pull it forward, straighten the arms, remember the uh, arm position. So fists with the hands and push away through the wrists. Bring your head down, push forward through the wrists, pull back through the toes. So this time we have an elevated scapula. The shoulder blades are reaching towards the hands. Keep the hands in fists, push forward through the wrists, pull back through the feet. Pull the belly in and forward. And then bring the chin forward, gaze forward. Remember, legs up is optional. Inhale, reach forward through the arms, the chin, and come up. Legs can also come up for five. Keep the belly in, reach up through the arms, four, four. Lower belly in, legs up, chin up, four, three. Keep the shoulder blades reaching forward. Four, two, arms up, chest up, chin up, and one third. Slowly, slowly come down, lengthening away as you come down. Come down and rest. Breathe into your belly. And exhale through the mouth. Breathe into your belly. And exhale through the mouth. One more time. Inhale from your toes to the crown of the head. Exhale through the mouth, let go. Bring your right arm all the way to the right, just opening up the whole arm in a straight line. Bring the hand down in a T and bring your left hand uh, just left, left of your chest so that you press down as support and you twist the whole body over the shoulder. So press your right shoulder down, pull the shoulder blades down, open up the chest. And then from here, you can bend the knees or you can stay where you are. So if you want to go deeper, bend the left knee and maybe also bend the right. You can stay with just one knee. Up. Keep the shoulder blades coming down, feel the opening up of the shoulder. Pull the shoulder blades down, relax the head. If you want to go deeper, you can always bring the left arm up and around, and maybe you interlace the hands and you push the chest forward. And if you want to go deeper into the twist, you can even bring the left uh, shin on top of the right thigh and pull to the left. Pull the shoulder blades down, relax the head, and breathe into the shoulder, into any stiffness that you're feeling. Inhale deeply, exhale through the mouth, inhale deeply, exhale through the mouth, inhale deeply, and exhale, pull the belly in, and very slowly, one movement at a time, come out of the pose, just like we got into it, so with that same speed, very slowly. Come to rest on your belly and switch sides. Open up the left arm to the side, pull the shoulder blades down the back and turn. Keep the chest cracked and you can stay here, see where you need to be. If you want to go deeper, bend the right knee, maybe bend the left knee. If you want to go deeper, pull the shoulder blades down the back. And you can even bring the arm all the way back and maybe bring the Hands together, press the palms, push the chest forward, pull the shoulder blades down. You can again relax the head and pull the shoulder blades down, pop the chest open, inhale deeply. And exhale, sending the six bones out away. Remember the variations if you want to even bring the chin on top of the thigh, you can to bring some more, more twists to the equation. But wherever you need to be today is fine. 
At your own pace, take three deep breaths, exhaling through the mouth. Keep the belly in as you're moving away. So in order to come out, remember to come one step at a time. And make it your challenge to go as slow as possible. And to lie on your belly, arms by your sides for a second. And then we're going for one more Shalabhasana, this time with the arms in a T. So legs straight, point the feet. Press the feet down, lift the kneecaps up. Press the uh, hip uh, joints down, pull the belly in, lift it forward. Pick up the ribs, lift them forward. Bring your arms to a T. Um, palms down, pull the shoulders towards the ceiling and shoulder blades towards your sacrum, towards your feet. Press feet down, chin forward, and inhale, lift the chin, the chest, the arms up. Exhale, maybe lift the legs, maybe keep them down, four, five. Keep the lower belly in, keep pulling back through the hands, four, four. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, pick up the chest, the chin, four, three. Keep the belly in, keep the legs working, four, two, glutes working. And one, very slowly, lands down. Take a breath. Good, then we'll finish with cobra poses and options of king cobras. So king cobra is with the knees bending. If you want to come to sphinx, just to test the bending of your legs, we will open up the, the legs, the feet, hip distance apart, press the hands down, Pull the belly net forward and then use your glutes to squeeze the glutes and bring the feet in. Use your glutes to bring the feet in as close as possible to the glutes, maybe they even touch, and then relax. Keep the lower belly in and forward. Pull, pull the shoulders back. Inhale and then exhale. Squeeze the glutes, bring the heels close to your back. Pick up the chest, the chin, pull forward and then relax. Maybe the feet don't come that close to your butt. It's fine. Work with what you've got. Press inner hands, outer elbows down, pull the belly, push the chest forward, and then bring the feet in. With your exhale, really squeeze the glutes to bring the feet in. Use your hamstrings, use all the strength of your legs, and then relax. And now we go to our cobra. So keep the feet uh, mat with distance apart. They're quite wide. That allows your lower back to open a bit more, for you to bend a bit more. But that reminds you to keep the lower belly engaged. So suck the lower belly in and forward, lift in and forward. Press the hands down. Um, come all the way down. Okay, so we'll start with no hands and then we'll place the fingertips wherever it seems appropriate to find our maximum cobra and we'll do three cobras. So press the feet down, pull the belly in and forward, shin forward, and then hands off the ground. Inhale, just the chest up, shin forward and up, pull the shoulders back. Exhale, press the feet down first and further up. Then bring your fingertips next to your rib cage or even further back. Inhale, come further up using the help of your fingertips and exhale, pull the shoulders back, pick up the chest, the chin, and move further into. Keep pressing down into the feet, Maybe you even lift the pelvis slightly, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, gaze up. And then from here, from your extension, wherever you are, you can use your glutes to start bending the legs. Use the power of your glutes, your hamstrings to bring feet close to the head. Inhale and exhale. Very slowly come forward and come down. Very slowly and curling, keeping all the engagements until the last minute. No hands, second cobra. Press the feet down, pull the belly, pick up the chin, the chest. Press the feet, use all that strength, come higher up. Then fingertips to come higher up, elbows back, shoulders back, chest up, 
chin up, press down into the thighs, open up, and then use the strength of your glutes to pick up the feet. Optional for three. Stay here for two. And very slowly move away. Very slowly. And last one. So no time to think about it. Backbends are progressive, so every time you float more open. Pull the lower belly in and forward. Inhale, rise up, no hands. And then bring the fingertips down. Keep kicking up your body. Keep the lower belly in. Remember to open up through the uh, neck, the chest, the middle back, the lower back. And then bring the feet in for five breaths. Keep the shoulder blades coming back, shoulder blades together, four, four. Shoulder blades down, and push the inner shoulder blades forward, four, three. Elbows in, four, two. Keep the lower belly in and forward. Use your glutes, four, one. Very slowly, come forward. Very slowly, come down. Turn around. We'll do some core work to balance things out before abandoning ourselves to our daily lives. So cross your forearms, cross your shins, keep your knees over your hips, and then exhale, elbows down, belly down, inhale, up, and go fast. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Turn around. Push ups. Knees can be on the ground. Elbows in. Pull the shoulder blades back. Press down to the hands. Pull the belly in. Come low, keeping the belly engaged. And push. Four, ten, nine. Keeping the belly in. Pelvis tucked in. Eight. Seven, six, five, keep the belly in. Four, three, two, and one. Come around, lie down, cross your shins the other way. If you don't remember, it's fine. <laughs> cross your forearms the other way. Belly in and start fast for 10, nine, eight. Keep pressing the lower back down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Turn around, last push ups, this time with the arms open. So, palms at the same um, height as the shoulders, press the hands down. Knees down or legs lifted and go. 10, keeping the belly. In. Nine, go low. Eight, seven, bring knees down and lift. Six, keep the belly. In. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come to seated. Go for your seated twist of choice. Ground the hips. You can extend the left leg, just bend the right knee and hug the right leg. And breathe for three, two, and one. Inhale here, lengthen. Exhale, twist a bit taller and release. Other side, whatever you did, do the same on the other side. Inhale, like the and exhale, twist. Inhale, find more height. And exhale, twist a bit taller for three, two, and one. Inhale here. Exhale, press down to the feet, twist a bit taller. And inhale, release, come back to center. Vasimottanasana, flex the feet. Use your quads, pull the belly in, pick up the chest, and exhale, fold by using that core action. So pulling everything towards the feet. Maybe you grab onto the feet, 
maybe hands on the ground for 10. Nine, keep the belly engaged. Eight, keep reaching the belly back, turn forward, sending the pubis back. Seven, flex the feet, activate the quads. Six, pull the shoulder blades down the back. Five more breaths, if you want to go for a different grip. Four, keep flexing the feet, send your pubis back. Three, Relax the head. Two. Pull your shoulder blades down the back. Reach forward through the rib cage. And one. Inhale here. And exhale through the mouth. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, lie back. Lie down. Hug your knees. If there's anything else you need to do, to wind down, you're free to do that. Otherwise, extend your legs out. Allow your feet to splay out to the sides. If your lower back is uncomfortable, feel free to bend the knees. Maybe place something under the knees, so simply bring the knees together with the feet apart. You can take a last big inhale from your root all the way up to the crown of the head. And exhale through the mouth, let go. Good job today. It's important to stay strong, to stay sane, to stay active during this time. So well done for taking care of your health. You deserve some rest. So lie here the next three, four minutes and just trust gravity to relax your whole body. Relax the face, relax the body. Relax the mind, relax. Your next inhale, 
Fire deep inhale, full delicious inhale. And then exhale and send that energy to your toes, to your fingertips. Start moving your feet, your hands, following your breaths, any movement, any stretch you need to do before coming to a seated position. Sitting up straight, if you want to again, find integrity in your seat, reaching out through the back of the skull, pushing the shoulders back, pop the chest open, and then inhale deeply into that proud chest, the proud front of the chest, the proud sides, and the proud back of your chest. Exhale through the mouth, keep reaching out through the head, though. One more time, inhale deep into your chest. And exhale through the mouth. And then inhale your arms all the way up, reaching up, stretching up. And exhale arms by your side, just like wings. One more time, inhale, fly your wings up. And exhale hands together to heart center, allow your head to bow down to the hands and Take a minute just to feel the presence that is, to be present with these qualities to be alive. Thank you for your beautiful presence. Thank you for taking care of your health and of yourself. The light in me honors and celebrates the light in you. Namaste. Good job, everyone.